Okay, so we want to insert it or edit an image. So we're going to put our mouse where we want the image to be approximately in the text. And we're going to click on that bush inside the box where it says insert edit image. Has everyone found that? Okay, so click on that. It's in, it's in the bottom row. Anyone not find that? Okay. Yeah, don't worry, we're going to... Okay, so this is the image manager. Like I said, we're using something called JCE to edit our articles, the, J the Joomla content editor. So if you're, if you're working from a fresh Joomla install, it's not going to look this fancy. It's going to be more limited. But this is obviously a lot more convenient. Okay, so this gives you a lot of options. And now there are some, art some images that come with Joomla that are already here, which you're not usually going to use. But in this case, we'll, we'll try one just for an example. So Joomla has a key. If you click on key, you will see an image of a key. Up on here, you will see a URL. There must be a URL in there. If you don't see a URL, you need to click on key again. Okay? It will give you the dimensions, and it will let you choose alignment. Margin is how much space between the image and the text. Often, if you're going to have something in the middle, I like to put in, let's say, five or so. And if you don't unclick equal values, it will be five all around. If you do unclick it, you can do it differently. You can do like eight of them. I don't usually do borders on images, but you can. If you do a border, just set the, the style. And you'll see there's a preview on the right-hand side. You can see what that would look like. Okay. You can change the color. That's going to be really ugly. Um, so all we did right now is we went into Insert Edit Image. We chose an image that was already on the website, in this case a key. We made sure that it had a URL. And we played with this a bit. We set alignment. And this is all stuff you can, you can go back and forth with. Left, right, clear. Has how the text wraps around the image. Okay. Margin gives it a little space because usually, if the text and the image are scrunched up right next to each other, it's hard to read. And you can choose to have a border, although I rarely do. So you've done all this. Now what do you do? You scroll down a little bit, so you can see the bottom, and you click on Insert. Does everybody have an image inside of their article? You have to kind of scroll down a little bit on that box. Do you see that? To the bottom. Lisa? So what if you have, like, on your hard drive or your thumb drive? Yeah, we're going to go over that next. That. I don't see an undo button. Um, there is no undo button. <laughs> um, you can try. Let's see if you can try. Let's see if Control z works. Yeah, if you type in control, control, hold down control and Z, that will work for undo. Um, there might also be an undo up here somewhere. Take a look. Oh, there it is. Yeah, undo right there. Yep. Okay. So, let's see if there's a redo. Yeah. Does everyone have an image in their text at this point? I'm missing You had to kind of scroll down. Um, have Natasha come over. Okay. Does anyone not have an image inside of their text at this point? Jay, are you good? OK. <coughs> now, usually, when you're building a website, you do not want to have images of Joomla keys all over the place. This is going to be very limiting in terms of your you know, development as a web designer and developer. So we're going to put something else besides a key in there. Okay. Um, the thing is, since we're not on our own computers, we don't necessarily have images right here, but I'm going to show you how. We're going to click on Insert Edit Image again. Okay. And this is a little bit hidden here, but on the right-hand side, the middle icon over there says Upload. And that's what you would click on. Okay. Then you click on Add, and that lets you browse the hard drive of your computer. Or you could actually, you can probably get to the USB drive this yeah, way as well. Yeah, I just figured that out. Okay. Thanks. So here's the thing about images. It's okay to plug a USB drive. It's okay to plug a USB drive in. Um, you want to edit and format your images before you upload them to the website. This is important. You do not want to upload gigantic images to your website. You don't want to upload one megabyte images to your website. You want to format your images for the web before you upload them. And there's different ways to do this. A program I like to use is called paint.net. It's free. A lot of people use Picasa, a Google program. There's tons of software out there, free and otherwise, for editing images. And the main thing is, like, if an image is huge, you need it to be the size you want it to be on the page, pretty much. 
I mean, there's, you, can, you can wiggle a little bit afterwards, but you, you really, you don't wanna, the reason you don't want to do this is because if you stick a one megabyte image in your page, even if you scale it down really small, the person who visits your web page is still going to have to wait for that whole megabyte image to load. It's going to slow things down. And slowing down is not good. So what we want to do is we want to format our images beforehand. What's the recommended size? I say under 100 kilobytes. And of course, if, if this is a, you know, a, you have to use your own discretion as well. Something's going to be like 10 kilobytes if you're very tiny little image somewhere. But in general, just keep it small, as, as small as it can be for your own purposes. I mean, if you need a big image, you need a big image. But play with different formats and see what you can get. And just uh, keep it, the, the lighter weight the site is, the faster it's going to go. Okay. Does anyone have any questions about editing images before you put them up? OK, so just, it's, it's, it's important to do. Um, you go out and take pictures with a regular like, you know, 10 megapixel camera. And you have it on a high setting. Those pictures are going to be huge, like literally like gigantic. And you don't want to upload them directly. And first of all, it's going to take forever just to get them up to the website. And then it's going to take forever for your pages to load. People are going to say, why is your site so slow? It's because I'm using these gigantic images. OK? Could you show us how we would insert an image if we didn't have this cool thing that you provided for us? No. no I mean, I, I can technically show it to you. Um, but it involves turning off JCE editor oh, oh, okay. because, because it's part of the editing system that we're using. If you want to at lunch or something for a second, I can show you what happens. But it's just very unattractive, and you're not going to want to do that. Even if you don't use JCE, there are other editors out there. There is WYSIWYG Pro, for example, which is commercial. And there's a couple other ones so you can, you can check out. Um, JC is a very, very popular editor um, because it's free, and it's very powerful, and it lets you upload images. The regular way to do it, you, don't, you can't actually upload images in the article. Just a major pain. So you need to download that separately not from Joomla? Yeah, no, from. from well, if you're going to install a different extension, JC is an extension, mm -hmm. then you would go and you would find that package. And I'll show you how to install things later, but and you would install it on the website itself, awesome. regardless of what server or whatever you have it on, just okay. even if, you know. So what we're doing right now is we're looking for an image. Now, if you have your own flash drive mm -hmm. and it's, you have image formatting, you can grab one from there. If you have it on a CD, you can grab it. If not, you can. You can probably find something on this on this hard drive here somewhere. Let's see. Yeah. No, they're they're all going to stay whatever format you upload them as. So actually, if on your computer, if you go to um, and you're going to have a different computer than I am, but if you if you find shared documents, sample pictures, something like that, you can probably find an image and click on it. And this is 103 kilobytes, it says, which is fine. It's quite big, though. It's 800 by 600. But I can take this image if I want. And all we're showing you right now is how to upload an image from your hard drive or your USB or your, wherever you have it onto your website, which is actually going to sit up there. OK? So I'm going to click on this winter. And you can do this more than once. You can do water lilies as well. This is 81.8 kilobytes. It's still kind of big in terms of size, though. So you have these things, and you say upload. Just save it. Thanks. So I know that you might not be able to find an image on these computers. They're not your computers. But the idea is that you click on this button over here, this upload image thing right here, and it's going to bring you to this. You're going to click on Add. You're going to browse on your computer, wherever you are, to find the image that you want to use, which you've already edited. It. It's already the right size, approximately. And then you're going to, click on, you're going to add it to here, and then you're going to click on Upload. And these are both uploaded right now because you see there's green checks or white checks on green backgrounds. Okay. Once you've uploaded, this box still stays here. You just you can just close it. Okay. Now when you do that, it doesn't automatically insert it here. You have to actually click it again. Make sure that you have a URL on the top. Okay. You can choose the alignment if you like. If not, it'll do whatever it wants. And put a little space in here between the text and the image. And then you click Insert. Okay? And like I said, it's a pretty big image right here. Now, you can resize things a bit inside, even though it's not recommended. So you can make it a little bit smaller here. Like, it's OK to resize things, like tweak it a little bit, a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. It's, you don't want to just do major resizing, because then you're just kind of wasting your time and space and everything.